Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to easily update all of your drivers for free on a Windows based system. Now, I get always people saying, uh, Is this software any good? And it's normally referring to those types of software like Driver Booster and other software like that. I don't tend to recommend those particular types of software, but I'll show you the methods that I use which are safe and tried and trusted. But first, what we're going to do is have a quick word from our sponsor for today's video. If your Windows is unactivated, then you can get yourself a cheap Windows 10 key from CD Key Sales. All you need to do is select the Windows 10 OEM key, use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order, and you'll get a discount on your purchase. Once you've done that, submit your order, head over to Activation on Windows, Click change product key now, add your product key and click activate and this will activate your version to Windows 10 Pro. Check link in video description for more details. Now the first thing I would suggest people do is head over to the motherboard manufacturer's website and download all of your drivers from there. Now this tends to work very well for a lot of modern day computers but if you've got an older system then you may find it hard to get up-to-date drivers because the support for that motherboard may have ended. But if you go to the support page on that motherboard website for your motherboard, you will see there is a download link for all of the chipset drivers, audio drivers, network drivers, SATA drivers, you name it, it'll all be listed there. And all you need to do is download them and install them on your computer. And this will basically install all of the necessary drivers for your PC. There's no need for any software or anything like that. Sometimes these motherboard manufacturers do offer a utility which will go and scrape your motherboard and go to the internet and download all of the drivers from that motherboard manufacturer's website. All you need to do is open these up and click install and that's all you need to do and they will install on the system. This is probably the most safest and trusted way of installing drivers on a PC. Now, another question I get is, how do you know what motherboard you have in your PC? If you go to system information in the search box and open up the system information tool on Windows, you will see there's a couple of areas here which you can check. Make sure you're on a system summary and then go to where it says a baseboard manufacturer and you will see it says Gigabyte Technology. Yours might say MSI or one of the other big manufacturers. You should see an area that says uh, baseboard product and baseboard manufacturer. The manufacturer is Gigabyte Technology and the baseboard product is Z490 Vision D. Now, that is the basic number or name of the motherboard. You can also download software if that's what you want to do and use HW Info. You can download the portable version and this will also give you lots of useful information about the hardware in your PC. It comes in a zip file and you can copy both of these files into a folder onto your desktop and call it HW info. And then once you do that, you can click on this file and open it. It will go ahead and open up a little tiny prompt box here. You can put in here the information you want, whether you run this as sensor only or your sensors for your temperatures and things like that. Or if you want to open the whole program, click run and it will look something like this. Once you're inside here, you can see basically the information about the board is in here, what type of board it is, the manufacturer. And it also gives you other information about the CPU, the memory, the GPU, and all that good stuff. And it also has links to the manufacturer's website by clicking on here as well. And you can download drivers from here. They normally tend to point to driver update tools, which I tend to avoid. That is basically how you can find out all of the information about what's inside your PC by using the system information built into Windows or using hardware info, which is a free tool which you can download, which gives you loads of useful information about your computer. Now there's loads of sections in here like the uh, video adapter, motherboard, you can click on motherboard and it will tell you all the information about it and you can also click on some other areas inside here like drivers and discs and uh, audio network and all of that useful information about the board inside here. You can check the sensors which is basically all your temperatures. Now another way to do it if you've got really old systems or you want to use some software you can use Snappy Driver Installer Origin and this is made by Glenn. You can go to Glenn's page. It will have all the information about how to install missing drivers and update old drivers for old laptops and old PCs that you're finding it hard to find drivers for. This is where Snappy Driver Installer comes in. You can use something like this and download it. It doesn't install. You can use the portable version. It's an open source and absolutely free. You can click on the official web page. It does support all of the versions of Windows, as you can see here. 
And all you need to do is click on the official web page link at the bottom of the page. This will then take you to its official Snappy Driver Installer Origin. It also has a GitHub uh, type of page as well. But you can see here, this is by Glenn uh, Delahoy. Make sure it's from him and then you can download this. And it will have a little tiny folder inside here which can run the executable file for x64, which is for 64-bit operating systems. Click on it and it will open up the program looking like this. We need to accept their terms conditions here by clicking on accept. And basically a snappy driver installer origin box will pop up with what you want to do. Do you want to download all of the driver packs? This will be a massive large file full of drivers and this will be useful for technicians and other PC repair shops. Download network drivers only. This is useful if you want to download just the network driver package. But what we're going to be doing on here is downloading the indexes only for these drivers. And you can click on this one here if you're a home user and you want to download these. This will then go off and scan your PC for missing drivers or drivers that are outdated. You can also click on uh, an area on here which gives you access to expert mode i'll show you that in a second let this just download some information here uh, but once that's done you can uh, change the language and also theme and we'll go to expert mode so let's click on the list here for the updated uh, drivers available for this pc and you can see it's found a load of drivers here which you can uh, click on and install there is an expert mode which we talked about you can put a tick in here in expert mode and this will give you more control over what you're trying to find in drivers so you can say not installed on my pc newer drivers current older and there's also better matched worse matched and you also see here not installed unknown or standard so you can generally put ticks in the ones that you want to try to search for so maybe you've got an unknown driver or you've got something that's not installed on the system it will then do a search for those you can create restore points before you install those which is always recommended and again if, if if there's any drivers that can't be found then it will show up red like this one and there's also drivers here that are all listed which i can now install on my system you can hover over these and it'll give you some information here about the driver and the hardware id and compatible id it also tells you the update driver available is for more optimal internet and you can see some other information there listed on the driver update information here you can select one of these or maybe three or four of these or you can select all of them so it's entirely up to you how you go about updating your drivers i will give you a word of warning here i have a saying if it's not broken don't fix it because sometimes what are you actually achieving by updating drivers that can sometimes make things worse so if you're having issues with something maybe update your drivers but if your pc is working perfectly fine then updating these might not make much difference. There again, it could do, and it could end up making things worse, especially audio drivers or network drivers. You've just got to be a bit more careful when updating these types of things. If you've got a really old PC that you're looking for drivers for, then you can use something like this to do this. Now, you can select one driver, as I've said, and click this top button, and it'll update that one driver, or you can do them all. It's entirely up to you. So that is the Snappy Driver Installer Origin. I tend to leave my system working as it is until I have a problem, and then I'll do something about it. But if it's working fine, I tend to leave drivers well alone. So if your system is working perfectly fine, then there's no real need to rush out and start updating drivers. What this can do is cause more problems than you need. And then you end up breaking something that was once working, and now it's not working. And now you need to go back and roll back drivers and try to find out what's happened. And it can be a bit of a nightmare. So do I use Snappy Driver Installer? Yes, I do. I've used it for many years. It's a very good tool, especially on older hardware. We are having trouble trying to find certain drivers for, and it seems to work really well on old laptops that have uh, obsolete drivers on them where you go to the website and they have now cease continue of letting you download update, updated drivers or drivers for that piece of hardware. You can use Snappy Driver Installer and it will put all of the drivers straight onto that machine and get it up and running in no time at all. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you have a great weekend. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. <laughs>